Authorities in Harris County said that at least one minor girl was dead after being thrown out of a vehicle during a car crash on Highway 99 at West Road according to Sheriff Ed Gonzalez Monday, a 12-year-old niece was killed after the vehicle carrying six people suffered an accident that Ed Gonzalez wrote in a post on X, formerly called Twitter. A 36-year-old woman was driving when she left the road and hit a cable barrier system, causing the vehicle to roll. The niece was not wearing a seatbelt and was found dead at the scene, they said, among the other four passengers were the driver's 56-year-old mother and children ages 1, 3, and 16 that a teen was transported to the hospital for a clavicle, however, others' injuries were non-life-threatening, according to the sheriff, the driver was heading home to Conroe after they visited San Antonio over the weekend, adding that she cooperated with the investigation and didn't show signs of intoxication the U.S. Local media reports state that the lanes of the highway have been reopened since the deadly accident, officials said they are conducting an investigation into the deadly crash and the charges against the driver are currently unknown, this car crash comes days after a vehicle rammed into the emergency room IR, of St. David's North Austin Medical Center in Texas, resulting in the death of the driver and injuries to five others, including a child with life-threatening conditions, the collision occurred shortly after 5.30 p.m., with emergency responders attempting to save the driver's life in the ER. Authorities are investigating the incident, and while the cause remains unknown, the Austin Police Department suggests it appears unintentional, fortunately, the ER was relatively empty when the crash transpired, though staff worked diligently to assist those affected. Of the injured, one individual received treatment at the hospital, while two adults and two children were transported to other medical facilities, Captain Krista Stedman of Austin Travis County Emergency Medical Services noted the severity of injuries, with one child facing critical, life-threatening conditions and an adult sustaining serious, potentially life-threatening injuries. Dr. Peter D. Young, the chief medical officer for the hospital, reported that eight patients undergoing treatment at the facility were relocated to other facilities due to the incident.